Yoichi Isagi has changed a lot in his time within the Blue Lock facility. Let's go over Isagi's journey on his path towards becoming the best striker in the world. Once the egoists got to the Blue Lock facility, Isagi walked into room Z as he was greeted by 11 other strikers. They were about to play a game of tag and Igaguri got the ball first. At some point, Kunigami got mad at Igaguri so he used Isagi as his shield. He was it now as he had to find a way to hit somebody else before the timer ran out. But Chira tried to help him by holding Kunigami Kunigami in a lock so that he could proceed, but Isagi missed his chance as Kunigami threw Bachira off him. He landed on Igaguri, and after Bachira got up, he couldn't move anymore. This was his ultimate chance to proceed in blue lock, but he decided not to do so as he didn't see the point of it. At this rate, he would remain the same person as he was before as he came to blue lock in order to change his life and become the world's best. Bachira stole the ball from him now as he tried to eliminate Kira, but all of a sudden he tapped the ball towards Isagi as he got fixated on eliminating the strongest guy. And that's exactly what he did as he hit Kira right in the face, which got him eliminated. This was the first sign of his stirred-up ego. In Team Z, their match against Team Y Asagi realized that Okawa was the center of their attack, which made him able to intercept the ball before it came to him. It was true that Isagi's weapon was smelling a goal as he initiated the counterattack. But Chira ran up the field from the right side as he passed towards the number 11, Isagi Yoichi. This was the birth of his direct shot as they managed to win the game against Team Y. Isagi crushed them as he was indulging in the sensation of winning. In Team Z, their match against Team Fiyunagi was trying to tap the ball over Team Z, their players into the net, as Gagamaru saved the ball from going in. The ball bounced towards Isagi as he realized that this was his last chance. Everyone was moving up with him as Isagi wanted to be the one to score. He passed the ball towards Bachira and got it back later on from Chigiri. He's got control over the entire field as Isagi moved up towards the 16-meter box. He passed the ball towards Kunigami, and Bachira passed the ball back towards Isagi as Bachira had put his faith in him once again. However, just as Isagi was moving towards the ball, a wild Nagi has entered the frame. Isagi wanted to use his judgment as to where the ball was going to land as he was closer to the ball than Nagi. This means that this is a game of first touch as it'll all be decided with the trap. With this trajectory, if he decelerates for the usual trap, Nagi will have enough time to circle in front of him and block the shot. He got on the inside now, as Isagi realized that a regular trap wasn't going to work. He'd have to move like Nagi did back then at top speed, as he needs to execute a high-level shot from the trap. He wondered if he could do something like that, as he realized that the game was over if he were to mess up. But it's impossible, as he can't picture the goal, even though he finally arrived at the future of the field. He couldn't see the future where they'd win anymore, as Nagi told him that he couldn't beat him. Chigiri and Kunigami wanted to assert themselves, but Isagi refused as he wanted to win with his own goal. Isagi suddenly came to a realization as he remembered what Igo Jinpachi said about a formula to produce and create as many goals as it takes. And he remembered Nagi telling him that he wasted a lot of chances. The thing stopping Isagi from thinking was the trap piece. When he went for the trap, the version of himself that he visualized on the field for his predictions is a regular person. That's no good, as Isagi realized that in that first instance and during that first goal, was someone with no speed, power, or technique. The thing that fits into Blue Lock is the final piece for him to complete his goal as he was preparing to take a shot. It is to deny the other egoists the chance to overtake his future. The formula to complete his weapon is spatial awareness combined with a direct shot as Isagi shot the ball into the right upper corner which made Team Z win 4-5. If you're enjoying this video so far, consider subscribing. In the first stage of the second selection, Isagi had to go up against the Blue Lock Man who was the goalkeeper. The area is gradually shrinking as well, and Isagi got that this training is to recreate a situation where he's in front of the goal. He's supposed to assess the situation and find a way to get it past the goalkeeper as he shoots his first ball. It's going in a perfect course, but the blue lock man still managed to save his first shot. The ball is coming from the left, and this time the goal is at his right side. He had to grasp the space around him in an instant, and with no wasted movement, he should be reaching the spot where he predicts it will drop. He had to feel Feel the trajectory of the ball and its speed, and after grasping the distance that the keeper was in, he should have finished it off with a direct shot, which is how he scored his first goal. He got up to level 2 now as the amount of holograms increased since it recreated the front of the goal as he could only aim between them and shoot this time. He shot the ball, but it missed as he realized that the difficulty skyrocketed, and a short while later, he managed to pierce the ball into the right 
upper corner. There are three obstacles that appear randomly. If he could asses the point where the ball comes from its course and the goalkeeper's position, he can steal the goal as he shot the ball into the net again. It's time for the final level now as the target started moving. Isagi's course of action has not changed, but the ball is going fast and it's spinning as well. Isagi realized that they were hard to adjust to as he missed his shot. In a moment, he grasped all of the space, read the positions of the defenders and keeper, and ran straight to the shooting spot. The ball's trajectory is spinning as he had to grasp it perfectly in order to nail the ball into the left upper corner, but he missed again. He didn't even shoot through the course he was aiming for. He could grasp the space and the positionings just fine, but the most important image of the direct shot isn't following him to reality. What he misses now is his ability to shoot cleanly. So far, Bachira's passes were easy to shoot, but this room's rampant balls are hard to shoot cleanly. He knows that he shouldn't just blindly nail them as he reckoned he should be shooting with 80 or even 70% from what he has been doing so far. At the last moment, he had to put his entire mind on the impact point as the ball went towards the left upper corner again, and this time he had hit the shot perfectly. Even in just one direct shot, calculations and formulas exist, which is his spatial grasping ability combined with his direct shot, positioning, and impact skill. When Isagi and Nagi played against Baru and Naruhaya, Isagi was moving up the field when Nagi received the ball. Isagi thought that if it were possible to use both his and Naruhaya's weapons that could help in reaching the level of geniuses. Baru was breathing down Asagi's neck as Asagi was contemplating what he was still lacking when he switched from off the ball to on the ball movements. He quickly came to realize that it was the eyes of the opponent. A human's field of vision is only in front of them, so whenever someone needs to check their surroundings, they have to move their head for that to be possible. Baru is looking at him, who is in close proximity, and Nagi was following a bit behind while holding the ball. He needs to be aware of both of them, but because of their positions, it's impossible to keep tabs on both of them at the same time. Baru needs to check on the ball sometimes, and in that second, Isagi can get in a blind spot. Baru will move reflexively to find him, and Isagi will move the opposite way again. Isagi is asking Nagi for the ball as Nagi noticed him. This was the first time that Isagi defeated Baru in a one-on-one -on -one through copying Naruhaya's ability. And he won't just stop at copying as he's gone beyond to an unknown territory. He devoured Naruhaya's talent in a split second. When Isagi, Nagi, and Baru played against Chigiri, Kunigami, and Ryo Isagi knew that he couldn't just hand over the next goal. And because of what happened earlier, they've become cautious about Nagi's movements. Since Chigiri can't stop Nagi by himself, Ryo is marking Isagi in a way to not let him pass to Nagi. And even if he'd managed to, they're positioned to be able to overwhelm him with numbers. And Kunigami is clearly not too worried about Baru. You could say that just doing that much is enough to stop him, but Baru was already useless when it came to that match. That's the common belief that everyone on the field has, and indeed his routes to Nagi are clearly narrower than before, as there's a high chance of failure in it. Isagi will chose Baru instead as he was dribbling towards Baru. Baru was moving up with Isagi through the right side now, as Kunigami was desperate to stop him. But little did he know that he got baited by Baru's charge, as his real aim was the genius Nagi Seishiro, as he passed the ball towards Nagi. Isagi saw that everyone was focusing on his play, so Baru was in a space that only he could see. This is the moment where Isagi bursts out of the darkness of Baru's blind spot, as he knew that that was what Nagi was waiting for. Baru was baited from the very start in order for Isagi to get himself in front of the goal. Isagi rushed towards the 16-meter box now, as he realized that no matter how much you try to understand other people's hearts, people aren't able to change others. And that's why every time you have to change yourself in order to change the world if nothing's going how you want to. That's surely the only way. If he couldn't see the light leading to a goal, then he has to become that light. He asks Baru to watch him on, as this is Isagi's attempt to adapt to him, as he devoured the darkness Baru created on the field and turned it into light. Later on, Isagi asked Baru to pass to him as Baru completely crumbled under his ego eccentricism and passed the ball towards Isagi as that was a pass that Baru couldn't even understand himself. Unintentionally and unconsciously, like the weak bowing down as Baru fell on the ground. Isagi was preparing to shoot now as the ball was passed on to him, and at that moment, Baru Shue would finally be forced to realize that Yoichi Isagi was the main actor on the field as he shot the ball in the right upper corner. Baru was just a supporting role that got dragged off the stage. In Chapter 103, Team A was playing a match against Team B. Nanas passed the ball towards Isagi, even if he could formulate a vision of himself beating Rin and Shidu. With his current physical capabilities, he can't catch up. But how 
would he reverse his thought process? His prediction is a weapon that works by seeing, thinking, and moving afterwards. Is a human being even able to do that? Karasu caught up to Asagi as Rin tried to link up with him, so he passed the ball towards Rin. They're pushing past with high-speed passes as he passed the ball towards Hiori on the left. Whoever can take control of the melee in the goal area will be the one who scores. Even if Isagi tried to dive into a space where Rin and Shidu wouldn't be his body, wouldn't be able to make it in time, just like before. So then where should Isagi head for? The open space behind Shidu or perhaps Rin's blind spot? Isagi thinks that he's an idiot as he reckons that it's too late to start thinking after he looks. This thought process isn't going to cut it. Isagi shouldn't think about it and move by feeling as if he should believe in his capability. Every nerve and every sensation. And reverse engineer it at that moment as this is where Metavision was born, although Isagi used it subconsciously. Hayori passed the ball towards Rin and Shiodu, but little did they know that Isagi was right behind them as he devoured both of them and shot the ball inside the left upper corner himself. He scored the winning goal as Team A won 5-4. In Chapter 148, Rin was battling it out against Sei as he managed to hit the ball away from him. The ball went over Oliver Aiku towards Isagi Yoichi as he made use of his luck as he shot the ball towards the right upper corner. He scored the winning goal against the U-20 team as they won 3-4. In Chapter 212 in Bastard Munchen, their match against Uber's Isagi swiftly stole the ball away from Baru. He moved up the field now as he's going to try to score off the counterattack. He passed the ball towards Corona as they moved up together with their planet hotline. Yukimiya ran up towards Isagi to steal the ball, but Isagi anticipated it as he suddenly came to a halt and moved to Drago's left. Isagi passed the ball towards Corona as Isagi charged up towards Nico. They passed the ball amongst one another some more as Isagi bursted in between Nico and Aiku. Corona lobbed the ball towards Isagi now as he was about to shoot, but little did he know that Ness was trying to stop him now. Ness thought that he could only shoot with his right leg, so he tried to put Isagi off balance. But Isagi told him to think again as he shot the ball towards the goal through his newfound lefty direct shot as he scored his first goal in the Neo Egoist League, putting Bastard Munchen in the lead. In Chapter 238, Hiori was preparing to pass the ball towards Isagi as Isagi bursted past Ryu, Aiku, and Kaiser. Hiori was ready to make the pass now as the two egoists weren't even looking at each other. Hiori passed the ball towards the 16 meter box as the ball was moving towards Isagi. Byu clashing and crossing their visions of becoming the best player in the world, Isagi got one on one with the goalkeeper as he shot the ball into the left corner. Isagi and Hiori could even go beyond their wildest dreams. Watch this video next where I talk about the reason Jin Patchy Ego chose Isagi Yoichi.